how is, how is this year different for you? Yeah, I believe so. I, I do believe I have more of a role this year and just taking on the responsibility of being the older guy and knowing what to do when I get out there. So I definitely feel like I have a bigger role this year. Coach Lamar says you were winning a lot of the sprints uh, and a lot of the earlier practices. I mean, do you say you're the fastest of the running back group right now or is there someone else that's <coughs> kind of keeping up with you all the time? Um, out of the fastest running backs, I have to say it's me and uh, Desmond Reed, uh, the transfer. But I feel like a lot of my speed just came from playing with the guys down at LSU. So you, you played some running back at the end of that season, but did it take you a while to fully kind of feel like a running back again? You know what I mean? To, to sort of truly kind of embrace yes. that's your position. So I mean, it wasn't until I want to say last year's fall camp where I finally felt like I'm a true running back. Uh, during the spring last year, I was I was still trying to adjust to playing a new position, but. Right now, I feel great. I feel real confident in myself and the way I'm running the ball. And there's always small things I got to work on, so the better my game. But other than that, I just feel real comfortable at the position right now. So, Derek, you get comfortable being running back again, and then the system completely changes. How do you find this system fitting your game? Um, it fits my game perfectly, especially coming from high school. I came from a spread type of offense. So with this type of offense, it allows me to get into space, allows me to use my speed, be more elusive in space. and great plays so and I'm a bigger guy so uh, running up the middle is not really my my forte <laughs> what kind of goals did your offense have going into Saturday scrimmage do you feel like you accomplished those even though I don't know the defense won but even though the defense won um, goals to, to our goals really was to play fast and score we definitely scored we were playing fast but it wasn't enough of course they won so we got to get them back I mean, for these coaches, they just want to see everyone play fast, play confident. That's the biggest thing. They all knew. Everybody's new. So for, like I tell the young guys, just go out there, play fast, play confident. Don't go out there thinking, because when you're out there thinking, you're out there just going, you're just going to mess up. And they don't want to see that. They want to see guys that are out there having fun, playing the game that they love, and doing what they need to do to help this team win. So. Also, for you as well, comfortable in the system and his position, where maybe the game's more fun now, or you're enjoying it more than you did. I mean, me personally, so I'm an athlete. I always tell myself I'm an athlete, so you can put me anywhere on the field, and I'll be able to get the job done. But just playing offense right now is just clicking very well for me. I mean, even if I was to go to defense, it probably it'll click well for me. I can play anywhere. So, but playing right now, offense is just everything's clicking well. My coach. He harps on us. He's on us every day. Uh, he takes care of us. He takes real good care of us, actually. And he he's like our, um, I look at Coach Lamar as a mentor. So he, he helps out a lot. He was telling us no block, no rock. Definitely. No block and no rock, no rock. That's, I mean, that's simple, really. It's important that for running backs to pass protect. And that's everywhere. If you want to play anywhere, you got to gotta know how to pass protect. So. There's a tempo aspect of the offense, obviously. Appreciate you. Is there also more speed on the field as far as guys making plays? Yes, 100%. I mean, it's still the same guys from last year, a couple new guys. But other than that, with this offense, it just allows us to play our game. Allows that We're not stagnant, really. We're all over. We're moving, constantly moving. So just playing fast, playing, playing smart, we're going to score a lot of points this year. So. Derek, how have the quarterbacks adjusted? Quarterbacks are adjusting well. They're, they're adjusting real good, honestly. Um, and right now, it's important for us to not get in their air, you know, get frustrated with them because just like us, I mean, they're learning the same thing as well. Even They're learning twice, three times as more as much as we're learning. So for them to just catch on very quickly, they're learning, they're learning fast. So I'm excited for them. Organized. Derek, I'm curious because a couple of your former teammates are projecting top 10 picks in the Senegal draft with Malik and Jay. Just curious to your thoughts on those two guys going in and, and how really they can get drafted. What do you what makes you think Malik can translate that easily to the NFL? Oh, um, first off, I'm very I'm very excited for them boys, very blessed for them boys. And for all them guys to translate into the NFL, I am not gonna translate very well. I feel like LSU prepared them, prepared them well, SEC prepared them well, and they're gonna they're gonna do good. It's kind of a follow up what makes Malik stand out as a receiver? Malik, Malik is most hated. Um, he just he just got that dog in him. Honestly, that's what I like about his game. That's what I told him, told him too. Like, I just like how he got that dog in him. 
never backs down from a challenge. So.